Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Micah, more committed than ever, to the Cowboys. The fallout from the Dallas Cowboys' loss to the Green Bay Packers on Super Wildcard Weekend has been nuclear, that is from outside of the building, and most certainly within the fandom. Family members of Cowboys players have begun weighing in with their opinions, and it's fueled a frenzy on social media, pulling players like Micah Parsons into its whirlpool. Parsons' brother recently made comments hinting at a possible departure of the three-time All-Pro linebacker from the Cowboys in the near future, but Dallas generational pass rusher stepped in front of the comments on the social media platform, X, formerly known as Twitter. He hammered home his love and loyalty to both the organization and the Metroplex as a whole. Any comments made by Terrence Parsons Jr. are his and his alone, wrote Parsons, as you know, if I have something to say, I'm not afraid to say it. I love my team, my brothers on my team and the city of Dallas. It was obviously a disappointing finish to yet another otherwise promising season for Parsons and the Cowboys and, as such, it is not surprising that tempers are flaring within the fanbase and within the families of players and staff alike. Within the locker room, however, there has remained an unbreakable bond between players and coaches, evidenced by players such as safety Wanya Thomas and tight end Jake Ferguson taking to X to celebrate news of McCarthy's retention by owner and general manager Jerry Jones, and to also show solidarity for three-time Pro Bowl quarterback Dak Prescott. Yes, 110%, said cornerback Nash and Wright in response to a question on if everyone still believes in Prescott. The club is opting to keep McCarthy on as head coach for 2025 and, with that, they still await the other shoe to drop regarding defensive coordinator Dan Quinn, whose decision will have an immediate impact on Parsons next season and potentially beyond, but it appears the former first-round pick is quietly grieving the loss while turning his attention to helping the Cowboys finally get over the hump. And he's leaving no room for Ms. Interpretation. I'm more committed than ever to bring a championship to the greatest fan base on earth, he said. Cowboys among favorites to sign projected $22 million star RB. It's not that the Dallas Cowboys were a poor running team in 2023. It's just that they were average and struggled in short yardage situations with Ezekiel Elliott gone and Tony Pollard taking over the starting role. That's not the reason that the team lost to the Packers in the first round of the playoffs, of course but it did help set the team up as a pass-heavy offense that lacked balance throughout the year. The Cowboys were first in points, 509, this year, and fifth in yardage, 6,317, but were just 14th in yards on the ground, 1,920. Fair or not, much of that will fall to Pollard. That's why there are growing rumblings that the Cowboys could soon move on from Pollard, who is a free agent this offseason, and seek an upgrade at running back. They might not have to look far, they are, according to the gambling site EmpireStakes.com, among the favorite to swipe division rival running back Saquon Barkley of the Giants in free agency this offseason. The Cowboys are on the list of eight potential suitors for Barkley, and are tied for seventh on the list with the Patriots at 12 to 1 odds, or 7.7%. Saquon Barkley makes sense as a Cowboys free agency target. Barkley was a Pro Bowl running back in 2022 but slipped some in 2023 as the Giants' offense sputtered and he fought his way through an ankle injury that cost him three games and slowed him down for longer. He finished the year with 962 yards on 247 carries, and posted an average of only 3.9 yards per carry. Still, when healthy, Barkley is among the best backs in the NFL, and could wind up being a bargain given the unimpressive season he had with the Giants. Barkley is projected at Spatrack to have a market value of $6.6 million per year, and projected to garner a three-year, $20 million contract. Pro Football Focus is a little more bullish on the running back market in free agency and is projecting a two-year deal worth $22 million for Barkley. The site rates him as the top running back in free agency this offseason. Barkley is still capable of breaking off an explosive rush at any moment and made several highlight reel catches in 2023, including a wheelroute touchdown that ended with a dive for the pylon in Week 2 against the Arizona Cardinals. There's no doubt Barkley's highs are as high as any running back in the game, 
but the position market is a tricky landscape to navigate in 2024, especially with his missing extended time in three out of the past four seasons, PFF wrote in ranking Barkley the number 29 overall free agent. The good news for Barkley and all free agent running backs this offseason is that the 2024 running back draft class is not perceived to be strong. Staying put with the Giants? The future for Barkley could depend on how the Giants handle him. Of all the odds on the board at EmpireStakes.com, the Giants have the strongest. 2-1 to one odds are a 33.3% chance of remaining with New York. Barkley has said he hopes to play his entire career with the Giants. The Bears, Broncos, Texans, Eagles and Packers are also on the list. But Barkley has also said that he wants to win, and it is clear the Giants are still a long way from the Super Bowl. Everything I want to accomplish in my career is still out there and I want to compete, Barkley told USA Today this month. I want to win Super Bowls and those are goals one want to add to my career hopefully next year. Cowboys could lose starting CB in free agency, too expensive. The Dallas Cowboys have plenty of players they'd like to keep going into 2024, but even Dallas can't afford to keep all their best players. Considering the Cowboys will have to make changes just to get underneath the salary cap, the potential departure of Stephon Gilmore shouldn't be too surprising. Spatrak states that the Cowboys are projected to be $11 million over the cap in 2024 as things stand. That's why Sports Illustrated's Mike Debate believes the team may not hand Gilmore a second contract. Dallas is entering the new league year with the intent of clearing cap space, Debate wrote, and may look to allocate that money to greater positions of need. Given, Darren, Bland's emergence, along with his far more palatable $1.06 million cap number, keeping Gilmore in the Cowboys' fold may ultimately be too expensive for their liking heading into 2024. For context, Gilmore was paid $9.98 million in 2023 for his services. He may not require quite the same pay in 2024, but it's hard to imagine him taking a big pay cut. Gilmore had a solid season in 2023 and showed that he still has plenty left in the tank. Gilmore has best season since 2019. At one point, Gilmore was arguably the best corner in the NFL. While with the New England Patriots, Gilmore was a first-team All-Pro in 2018 and 2019. Gilmore was still performing at a high level in the years between, but his first season with the Cowboys was his best in years. For starters, he started all regular season games for the first time since 2019. PFR also shows that he brought down two interceptions, forced a fumble and registered 13 passes defended. The 13 PDs is his highest total since 2019, and his 54 solo tackles are the most of his career. Cowboys fans also saw him step up in a less-than-ideal situation. After Trevon Diggs' season was ended prematurely, Gilmore was required to be the number one CB and he did well all things considered. With all that said, it makes complete sense for Gilmore to look for another sizable contract. Spatrak believes his market value calls for an $11 million deal, but that may be a number that Dallas just can't get to. How Cowboys Can Open Up Cap Space While the Cowboys will be tight on cap space to start the league year, they are far from stuck. The problem is just figuring out how and where to save money. In terms of releasing players, W.R. Michael Gallup, L.B. Leighton Van Der Esch and P. Brian Unger are names to watch. Releasing Gallup after June 1st frees up $9.5 million, while the Cowboys could get $5.5 million from Esch and Unger being let go. That gets the Cowboys under the cap, at least. But they could also restructure various deals, which has been a strategy in the past. With that move in mind, guard Zach Martin stands out. If Dallas commits to a base salary conversion with Martin, they can save up to $13.4 million. One of the other big contracts they could try converting is De Demarcus Lawrence's deal. They could keep the soon-to-be 32-year-old, but save $7 million toward the cap with a conversion.